Welcome back to the Colors of Friends YouTube channel. My name is Garrett, and today I'm bringing you a video that's like something I haven't done before. I mean, I've already done one unboxing for a Loot Crate video, and I had a lot of fun during that. Super fun to edit. I filmed two more, never got to editing those, and those will be lost forever because I deleted the footage. But today I am bringing you a January Blu-ray haul. Thanks to a couple people, mainly Anthony. Thank you, Anthony. I was able to get a couple Blu-rays for my collection in these here packages. And I'm going to unbox and open them for you and we're gonna have fun! So let's just have a not so serious video as I'm flinging scissors around and let's get into it. Scissor safety is very, very important. Okay, we got this first one here. Now these are a, a range of movies from like the 90s to now. All right, so this first one is going to be Planes, Trains, and automobiles. This movie is literally my favorite Thanksgiving film there is. Um, there's not a lot. There's a terrible turkey franchise, um, like horror turkey Thanksgiving franchise. Um, that's not good. I think it's like called like Thanksgiving or something like that. And I've been waiting for Planes, Trains, and Automobiles to come out on Blu-ray. It stars Steve Martin and John Candy. The inside of it is pretty bland. Um, basically just have the DVDs, anything, no art, special otherwise inside. Still a great film to have in my collection. It's a Thanksgiving classic for me, something I watch every single year. Now I get to watch it on Blu-ray and have it in good Quality. Okay, I'm tired of trying to deal with all the sticky stuff, so we're gonna just cut that. And this movie is Glass, the M. Night Shyamalan sequel to Unbreakable and Split. Now I have Unbreakable on DVD, I'm looking for a Blu-ray for it, don't worry. I already have Split, and the reason I'm really getting this is because of Anya Taylor-Joy. I know she's in this movie. I need literally all of her movies in my collection. If they put Queen's Gambit on Blu-ray, I am buying it the second it comes out. So to have glass and everything is good for my collection. Give me more Anya Taylor-Joy films. She's dazzling. She's exceptional. So the cover art is really cool. I love the fact that we have the purple, yellow, and green colors. It's a fun cover for your movie. The back is fine, tells you the important information, has some glimpses from the film. It's good. Now going inside, the DVD Blu-ray, it's the, it's just that. They're bland, normal. I do like the font that the glass is, but um, it's something super special. Still cool for my collection. And I'm not missing out that it's having the paper cover. I usually like that, but I don't have it for split. I probably won't get one for Unbreakable, so it's good to have that mixed with the collection. I've heard it's not great, but like, I haven't seen it yet. Another reason why I wanted to buy it. So the two movies in this package, um, the first of which is fine, the second of which is a fucking cartoon, but I need them to finish my collection of the franchise. You can see what I'm wearing, you can tell what these are going to be. Sort of. There's a word that's switched out. Okay, this is not opening the way I want it to. So, firstly, we have Jurassic World. This movie I'm fine with. I can rewatch this movie. It's fun. I need it to complete my collection for when I do the Jurassic Park franchise reviews in 2022 in the lineup for Jurassic World Dominion. So I like the cover for it. It's good. It has the Velociraptors, it has Chris Pratt. That's your selling point. Kind of wish you could have gone with the Indominus Rex. Maybe you're saving that if people haven't seen it yet. Let's get into the inside. So we have this little booklet. Um, cool. Give me a bunch of advertisements for things that are super old. This is an old Blu-ray. I have this like a Lego Jurassic World ad in there. Um, a Universal and um yes but the inside is cool the discs are two different colors the dvd is red 
the Blu-ray is black, which is fine. That's normal. I do like it. I do like the, the different colors. I'm happy to have this to my collection. Let's continue. So the last movie in the Jurassic Park franchise is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I am a little bit unhappy I own this movie. I don't really like it. I do really love this cover though. It's sleek. It has some like chrome cover on it. The Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom words and the logo itself is a little bit indented above it. That's fun. It's textured. It looks like it has some really fun bonus features. That's cool. Take the cover off. It's the same thing, just not as like shiny and cool. So let's open the thing. Ooh, there seems to be a card to be able to play with like a baby blue. Interesting. Um, digital movie card on the back of it, which has an advertisement for Barbersol Shave Club because Barbersol was important in the first movie. Is that a hit that they're bringing that back somehow? No, because we have dinosaurs roaming the fucking world now. Inside is pretty normal. There's no art on the back of the paper. The discs are just normal. Unfortunately, the DVD is the same color as the Blu-ray, so there's like nothing really important in that. Yeah, it's bland. I would say the paper cover is the most interesting about thing about it. Oh no, I forgot to put this shit back into it. The fucking advertisements. I'm sure some of these digital codes have, um, like, passed. Which is fine, because I guess that's why these are, like, not as high-priced anymore. I've been listening to a lot of Miley Cyrus, and then the Ali and AJ Potential Breakup Song Explicit version. Fuck, that's a fun listen. So much fun! And now we have this big package of movies. I'm gonna go them one by one, save the best for last, which is the biggest one in here, which that is that. So I'm going to start on the opposite side. So the first movie we have is The Witch. This is just a Blu-ray digital package. So we only have one disc in it. That's fine. I already have Robert Eggers' second film on DVD. I am looking for a Blu-ray for The Lighthouse. Oh, man, I want a Blu-ray for it so bad. I want to see that HD quality for that movie. Fuck, that's so good. And then The Witch, it's a little weird because the first time I saw it, I didn't appreciate a lot of it. I thought it was too slow of a slow burn. But every viewing since then, I love it even more. It's super fun. The cover art is perfect. You have your Satan goat at the front. Um, evil takes many forms. The Vavitch is great. I love Robert Eggers as a director, as a writer. He's fantastic. So let's go into the inside. Ooh, this is interesting. The The Blu-ray is kind of textured. It has, um, I wouldn't say sandpaper. I don't know. It's not like your sleek, uh, like a cover of paint on it. Other DVDs. This one's interesting. It, it feels like... Maybe like a stone, if that makes sense. I don't remember if that has anything to do with the film. But another movie for the A24 collection. And Anya Taylor-Joy, who is just dazzling in this movie. Should have gotten like a Best Actress or Best Supporting Actress role um, nomination for this. Really, she needs every nomination for every single movie she's in next. She is exceptional. I'm simping for Anya Taylor-Joy. What can I say? What can I say? The next movie we have is The Devil Wears Prada. I, s <laughs> I said that in like a tone I didn't mean to. I haven't seen this movie and everyone keeps telling me to watch it, especially people who are gay tell me to watch this movie because I haven't yet and I haven't really had an interest, but I mean, why not buy it for the collection? Why not, you know, watch it. I mean, it's Anne Hathaway, and I love Anne Hathaway. Mel Streep is great, too. Mel Streep's fine. I like Mel Streep. I mean, I don't have, like, the connection. I haven't, like, grown up with Mel Streep, so I don't have, like, the love and adoration for her. She's a fantastic actress. She's amazing. Don't come at me for that. 
I have this movie now. So the cover art is fun. You have like, I believe your four main characters, your Prada shoe with like a little devil horn at the bottom. Hell on heels. That's a fun take on like hell on wheels or whatever the real thing is. Is that Uma Thurman? Emily Blunt. That's Emily Blunt. How old is this movie? 2006? I thought this movie was a lot older than it is. Holy shit. This is just a Blu-ray digital pack. Okay, so the, the Blu-ray looks a little dated. Everything on it looks like it was from a small file size that just got like zoomed in to be able to put on it. So the font, um, the picture, everything is a little bit fuzzy. I do have like old Blu-rays. So, I mean, this fits into it. Fun! All right, the last movie before we see which collection I got is going to be Die Hard. And this packaging makes me love it so much. It's textured. It looks like an ugly Christmas sweater because Die Hard is a Christmas movie. I think I'm gonna make a video about this later when I can have the time to like write out a script for everything. I do really love Die Hard. I think every movie after it gets worse and worse. The fifth one is just a very, very bad movie. Ooh, and it's on like cardstock paper. Even the inside has the texture on it. And then you take the cover off and you just have like, I believe I probably this is like, I don't think this was the poster that it came out with, but it's, it's like black and white. The movie isn't black and white. I don't know why. The cover is black and white. The main reason for me to get this was that 30th anniversary cover because I'm a little Blu-ray whore. The outside is fine. I kind of wish the disc cover itself kind of looked like this, but I mean the fact that they even made a new thing for it, that's fun. That's very good for them. Let's check the disc. Ooh, ooh, uh, there's some fun things in here. So this is just a Blu-ray digital package and it comes with like a little happy holidays thing. Oh, they're postcards. That is adorable. I love this, this is great. I'm gonna use these maybe next year or never. And then the Blu-ray disc itself is like a fun blue. I don't hate it. It's different from everything else that's in the box. So like, I'm down. So yeah, this but this package is fun. I didn't think I was gonna get this cute postcards in it. That's a fun surprise. Makes this have a little bit more worth to it other than just your movie and a fun uh, paper case that could go bad. I I love this. This is very cute. I don't think I would I would own Die Hard 2 and 3, maybe 4, but I will I don't want to own 5. Nope. No thank you. And finally, the last thing I got in this thing. This is a collection of movies for a franchise I don't have a lot of love for. I haven't seen a full movie of the franchise yet. It is Fast and Furious, the eight movie collection. I think the only movie this is missing is Hobbs and Shaw, which I don't know if I'll get because I don't know if I'll like these movies. But I mean, it's eight movies that will give me eight nights of something to do. I, I love movies. I, I want to have as many as I can in my collection. Who knows? Maybe you'll like them. I do like action films. Um, I'm not a big car fan. I really love this paper packaging. It has this like chrome thing to it. It's just Blu-ray discs and digital codes. It looks thick so that it like, it'll be safe. Like you can, it can take some damage and it'll still be fine. You have that chrome thing on the whole side. It just gives it some shine like a car. And then the cover of this is the same thing. You're not really missing much with it. So let's get inside. So I have a digital code for all eight movies. Um, the back of it behind it has all of the um, synopsis of the movies and like their rating and everything. So that's fun. The discs themselves are not different other than the title. The only thing different is a DVD bonus disc. I'm sure that has all of the um, 
bonus features and whatnot. This is the kind of the same thing that the James Bond collection I have has. The only disc that was different is Spectre because they probably had so much from that since people probably didn't want it for their collections because it's not that good of a movie. They have like a, a normal disc of Spectre and every other disc is the same just the name is, on, is different on it. So that's fine. I mean, it's fun. I had fun. I'm going to have fun figuring out how to organize all these into my collection. So that's going to be interesting. So to go through what I got, I got the Fast and Furious 8 movie collection. I got the Die Hard 30th Anniversary Edition. I got the Devil Wears Prada. I got The Witch, Jurassic World, and Jurassic World Falling Kingdom. Glass and planes, trains, and automobiles. So that's my January Blu-ray haul. I don't think I'm gonna do a February one. I think I'm going to instead do a Blu-ray collection video in February. I have a lot and making them out into a list and video form seems like a lot of fun for me. So let me know in the comments down below if you want that to happen. Also let me know in the comments down below which of the movies that I got today are your favorites? Which are you most excited for me to see? If you want me to make a review out of any of these, please let me know and I'm, I'll think about it. But yeah, that's the end of the video. I have some trash I need to pick up now and I will see y'all in the next video. Um, if you like to give it a like, if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye! I've had these packages for like, I don't know, two weeks at this point, and I have been dying to open them so I have the movies in my hands because this feels so much better than having like blanketed packages. Ugh. I love movies.